Dyavik is a world-class diamond mine located in one of the most remote locations on Earth, the subarctic tundra of Canada's Northwest Territories. In keeping with traditions practiced by people of the North, we are using our resources wisely. As one of Canada's top 100 employers, we are a leader in workplace health and safety, environmental protection, and working in partnership with local communities. At Dyavik, safety will always be our most important value. This commitment has earned our workforce several John T. Ryan Safety Awards, our industry's most prestigious safety recognition. Our mine rescue team has won multiple North American and regional mine rescue competitions. This team is drawn from our larger emergency response team, which includes over 50 volunteer employees. The environment is just as important to us. Our environmental management system is ISO 14001 certified. Through our environmental agreement, an independent community-based advisory board carefully monitors the mine's environmental performance. The aspects that appealed to me at the time and that now I realize are happening, so I think Rio Tinto does walk the walk and talk the talk, is, is being a responsible organization. Responsible on every aspect, responsible towards their employees, responsible towards the communities that they work with and within, and responsible towards the environment. To ensure local communities benefit from Dyavik, we have formal participation agreements with the Klicho government, Yelenais Dene First Nation, North Slave Meti Alliance, Lutzel K. Dene First Nation, and the Katikmiut Inuit Association. These agreements, together with our socioeconomic monitoring agreement, confirm our commitment to local training, employment, community wellness, and business benefits. Since 2000, Dyavik has partnered with local communities, businesses, and governments to construct over $35 million worth of infrastructure in the Northwest Territories. Additionally, each year we contribute $5 million to Northern communities through scholarships, donations, sponsorships, and partnerships. Through our socio-economic monitoring agreement, we have committed to employing a workforce that is 40% Aboriginal and 66% Northern. We continue to make every effort to meet and exceed these targets. In terms of training, our goal is to produce over 100 accredited journey persons through our Trades Apprenticeship Program. The program that they have, it's based more towards the Aboriginals. It's to help them get into the mining industry. I like my crew that I work with. That's what I like most about my job and that I'm a part of this mine and we're drilling for diamonds. As long as there is mining, here in the north, this is where I'll be. <laughs> During our first decade, we've spent $3.5 billion with northern businesses. Of this northern spend, $2 billion has been with Aboriginal businesses and their joint venture companies. This accomplishment has been recognized through Divex Gold Level Certification by the Canadian Council for Aboriginal Businesses. We've produced over 50 million carats of high-quality diamonds from our mining operations, which began in 2003. Underground mining is our future and will ensure our mine lasts beyond 2020. Dyavik will be the first mine in the world to install wind turbines to the mine site that will operate at temperatures of minus 40 degrees Celsius. Operation of these turbines is projected to reduce our reliance on diesel fuel by approximately 4 million litres, or about 10%, and lower our carbon footprint by 6%. Health and safety. Environmental protection. Community relations and using our resources wisely, all part of the way we work at Dyavik. <laughs>